This is the one you've been waiting for. She actually messaged me on Instagram about it. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I am going to talk to you about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. These items were shared by my Facebook members. So this is my Facebook group, and I posted Share Your Best November Bolo. And in the comments, they post a screenshot, and they tell me where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I create a video for everyone to watch to help us all learn and get educated on what Bolos are out there. What should we, we be looking for when we're going to estate sales, thrift stores, the Goodwill bins, you name it, wherever you source, garage sales. I know garage sale season is over for me. I'm so sad, but um, it will come around soon. I will tell you that I am going to list, list, list this winter, and I'm also going to be shopping at the Goodwill bins and putting out Goodwill bins videos for you guys. So check those out. I do keep them educational for you guys. You get to watch me dig. I pop up screen shares of how I listed everything. So um, those are fun to watch. Definitely check them out. All right, so it says here, I just sold my second Scream mask. Picked both up for 25 cents a piece at a yard sale. Um, the Perfect Condition one sold last month for 250. This one was slightly damaged, but still sold for 115. Not bad for a 50 cent pickup. This one is the Ghostface Vintage Generation 2. If you can find the first gen, some of them go for like, huge money. So definitely be on the lookout for these scream masks. Bought this at a garage sale over 10 years ago. It languished in my money pile until about three years ago. I didn't know it was so valuable. It's been listed about three years and have had watchers. It is in the original box. The cardboard cape is unpunched, which is usually missing on the rare occasion one of these comes up for sale. I took a best offer of $199 for something I paid either a dollar or two years ago. Patience pays off. So another example of a long tail item, like that's me, like list it and forget it. I mean, those margins are fantastic. Underdog wipe off fun 1971 with the tie on vest game in original box. And this is what it looks like. Vintage Goosebumps toys are definitely a bolo. I have collected the ones with the hamster when I was in high school and have had it all in a box. Just started selling, so I listed the items I had. I've sold several toys already, but this just sold today for my full asking price of $40. It's an eraser. <laughs> Literally, about an inch tall, but still in the package. I didn't know what to price it at as I wasn't able to find any comps, but I'll take 40 for an er eraser any day. Okay, did she undersell it or did she price it just right? What do you guys think for this Goosebumps? eraser. I love it. How fun is that? It's even haunted. Bought for 25 cents at a local Trader's Day. I don't know if that's like an antique, like Trader's uh, flea market thing, or what's, what is Trader's Day? Anybody know? Sold for full asking price of $40. Is that where you like go and you trade stuff? I think I remember watching a video that Donatella Bottolino did, um, where she was traveling and they had something like that where everybody just brought their stuff and they traded. So maybe that's what it is. But it says he bought it for 25 cents, so maybe not. Uh, it is a video magazine issue, 56 VHS, video rare, unused sticker, tested, very good condition. I'm still not completely clear what it is, but that is what it looks like. This one comes from Champagne Taste 73. This is her eBay store and she is a Bolo Buddies member. So she is getting a bonus shout out. That means she has joined memberships on my YouTube channel. Um, oh, purchased these on eBay for $15 for all seven. So she bought seven of them for $15 on eBay. Sold yesterday for a hundred plus shipping. So she sourced it on eBay and then sold it on eBay. It is Fish Plates by Walther Glass. Walther Glass. This is what they look like. 
Found at the Goodwill for $3, sold in four days. It is a Waterford Holiday Heirlooms. I don't know what this is. Something limited edition. That's what it looks like. But it sold for $58 plus shipping. Anybody help me out there? Picked up at the Goodwill. They were stocking the winter coats and found it in one of the bins waiting to be put on the racks. Paid $12.99 and sold for full asking price of $195 plus shipping. Ran an auction first starting at $3.50 with little interest. Did some more research and listed it at a buy it now. Sold within a week of relisting for $195. It's a Los Angeles Kings Vintage 80s NHL Starter Satin Bomber Jacket. Yeah, those satin bomber jackets definitely be on the lookout. A lot of them can do really well. Somebody put starter jackets always do well for me. This one comes from Simply Savvy Deals. This is his eBay store. He is also a Bolo Buddies member. Under counter can openers are a big Bolo. Purchase this one at a church sale for $1. Do not sleep on church sales. Listed it for $129.99. Sold on best offer for $85. Plus shipping after two weeks. And it's a Black & Decker under cabinet electric can opener, hands free. And this is what it looks like. I bought a vintage vampire costume and this vintage Casper costume at a yard sale for 50 cents each. I sold Casper on eBay for a best offer of $75. Vampire sold already for a hundred and she said I've shared it before. So it was in another video. I think I remember that one. That's fantastic. Bought this Avon Advent at the Goodwill Tuesday, November 22nd for $2.99 and 12 hours later for best offer, it sold for $100. Um, let me see here. Is this, yep, this is the 1987 Avon Christmas countdown calendar with the little mouse. You guys have heard me talk about this one before. Definitely a bolo. Some of them go for way more than a hundred. Um, it really just depends. But it says note from buyer. Oh my gosh, you have made my whole year. Like people look for these. They're nostalgic. They're things that they remember from their childhood and they want it. And um, I've seen them go for $150 to $200 depending on condition. I recently just sold one. I think I took, I can't remember. I took a lower offer on mine. I don't remember why. Maybe it was a message from them. I, I don't know. Sometimes those messages, if I get a message from someone and I feel like they're like being honest, I'll go ahead and take the offer. Bought these really big lights, blow molds for a dollar each at a church sale and was planning to keep them, but listed them for 110 and got full asking price by the next morning. Christmas four giant bulbs blow mold. These sold for $110. And I know I was watching a um, video by Rachel Strickland. This is her YouTube channel. And she bought these big blow mold smiley face lights at a, um, it was a auction, like at an auction house. And I'm like, oh, she got those. Those are going to do so good. Ended up dropping down to 79. Really wanted some sales this weekend, so I offered them for 50 bucks and someone took me up on it. $50 plus shipping for these used boots, guys. Here's a sale I feel like we've all been waiting on. I have three sets of these. Um, this set of their smiley face, Noma is the brand, blow mold lights. Picked these up at an auction. I paid like $2 for all three strands. Just sold this one set for $115 plus $12 shipping. A friend gave I purchased seven of these pizza plates for 50 cents at a thrift store. I asked the lady if they were 50 cents each or for the whole pile. She said, nobody else will want those things. 50 cents for all of them. I listed a group as a group of six for 60 and boom, sold. Uh, clearly so someone else likes them too. Oh, they're going to California and an, to an airline shop. So it's probably um, an international sale. Bought these Veggie Tales new in box over a year ago at a garage sale for $5. Took a year to sell, sent out offers of $88, and it sold. So they are, um, wow, this is great. I think they're new in the package, right? Yeah. Vintage Fisher Price year 2000 Veggie Tales plush. I don't know if that's like a VHS with it. It's kind of hard to see, but $88. Veggie Tales is definitely something that I always look for. Um, 
They are Christian based and I guess they weren't like super overproduced, but anytime you can find anything that's new in the package or new in the box, definitely pick it up. VeggieTales is still very popular and people look for it and it's harder to find. Rare Vintage 1990s Martha Stewart White Milk Glass Turkey Covered Dish, L.E. Smith. This was Martha's reproduction of an earlier piece, but somehow it's more valuable now. Paid $5 at the Goodwill and sold it for $125 on Etsy. And this is what it looks like. And this one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode. This is her YouTube channel. Um, she is incredible. She has great bolos. Definitely go and sub up her channel. I will link it down below. This one comes from Ray Nathan RZ. This is the eBay store. And it says, I got these in 2018 in a Ziploc bag at the Goodwill. Sold a rabbit one for $13.99 plus shipping. Didn't feel like listing separately, so put all up as a lot. Sold on Etsy, paid $2.99 for all of them. Sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Um, oh, okay. So they're 18 EK Success Paper Punch Punches. So this is what they look like. They're the little punches for like scrapbooking and stuff like that. So that's great. And remember, the Rabbit one sold for $13.99. So great return on the investment. So I did a video and it was called Rushton or Gold. And it looks like this. And I reached out to my Bolo Buddies members and I said, hey, you guys, if you had the choice between picking up a Rushton doll or a or gold, which would you choose? So as I did the what sold category video and I taught you guys about Rushton dolls, I also put in these clips of what resellers said they would rather find. And there's some pretty funny ones, if I'm being completely honest. But the cool thing is, the Rebel reseller was in that video, and she picked Finding a Rushton. And would you not believe it, she went to the Goodwill bins that very day and found a Rushton in the Goodwill bins. And she talks about that on her hashtag bins bingo challenge. If you guys put hashtag bins bingo in the YouTube search bar, there's going to be a purple hashtag that's going to pop up. If you click on that, you'll get to see all the people that participated in the bingo challenge. I gave everybody a bingo card and they had to go to the Goodwill bins and try to find all of the items on the card. Um, some really great videos. Definitely check those out. But anyway, a member of the group reached out to me and she's like, after watching your video, I went back to an estate sale. I thought it was going to be gone and it was still there. She's like, I offered them 30 and she sold it for $305. I am so excited for her. So this was a super score. It is a Rushton rubber face clown gesture. And I know like some people don't like creepy clowns, but this is pretty cool. Sold for 305 plus shipping. This one comes from a quiet thrifter and this is her eBay store. She said, I bought this oversized grumpy Care Bear at a garage sale for a dollar. It took about six months to sell, but it sold for my 30% off sale in my eBay store for $87.50 and the buyer paid shippy. It's the grumpy bear. He's got the rain cloud on his belly. And um, the Quiet Thrifter mostly does like vintage glass and stuff like that. So for me to see her selling a plush, like I'm super excited about that. Okay. I bought this in a mixed bag of toys from the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold it for 50 plus shipping. I am brand new to reselling and have learned so much from your videos. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching and thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. Um, I love selling toys. So this one's exciting for me also. It's a vintage 1974 Marvel superhero action figure, Captain America by Mego. And she sold it for $50. Okay. Okay. This is the one you've been waiting for. She actually messaged me on Instagram about this and I was like kind of floored. I, I was completely floored. I was like, you've got to go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and share that so I can get it in the video. Are you ready? Bought a Trifari brooch on Whatnot jewelry sale for $20 as I felt it was special and boy was I right. It sold within two minutes of listing 
on eBay for full asking price of $999.97. I did have a 20% off coupon running, which the buyer used, but still an incredible find. I also had found and included the original ad from the 1950s in my listing details. I feel like jewelry is often overlooked, but can be found in so many places and can generate good returns. Hope this helps others to do, I'm sorry, to be on the lookout for these types of brooches. All pieces of Trifari jewelry are always marked Trifari as well. Okay, so some of them are crown Trifari and some of them are just Trifari. And prices are all over the place. They range from bread and butter to pig money like this one. Um, I love how she has it in this hand displaying it. It just looks incredible. But it says Crown Trafari Sorrento Baby Tooth Pearl Flower Brooch, largest size. And she uh, found the original marketing ad and put that in her photo. I don't think she included it. I think it's just a screenshot she found. You guys, she sourced it on Whatnot for $20. Can you believe that? So can you find items on Whatnot to resell on eBay? Yes, yes you can. I do have a link down below if you guys are not on Whatnot. Basically what it is is online auctions. Um, so if you go on, I would be there like, okay, I'm selling this and then people bid on it, okay? So if you've ever watched a YouTube auction, it's kind of similar to that, but it's on an actual platform where they do like the shipping labels for you and it's all organized, okay? Um, I plan to sell on Whatnot. I know I keep telling you guys that, but it's in the works. And um, I do have a referral link down below. If you use that to join, you will get a $10 credit to shop. So definitely go down there and click on that. And that will also give me money to shop. And follow me at Bolo Buddies. Um, I think it's all one word over there on whatnot. And hopefully I'll be doing a live show soon, if not already. All right, you guys, let's do, let's do two more here. Picked up um, in the Halloween section at Goodwill for $29.99. It is a men's, wow, men's black leather mink, leather and mink bomber jacket. Sold it for $500. It was in the costumes, the Halloween section. Always check the Halloween section, right? Wow. This happened just 90 days ago, so just getting it posted. Paid a dollar at a Highway 141 garage sale this past summer here in Iowa and took an offer for 100 made about 80 after Poshmark fees. You guys, it's a purse. Oh, here we go. I was like, I can't see the info, but she put it. It says Patricia Nash, and it's a backpack. It's a Euro Western Rose applique, and this is what it looks like. All right, so that was like, I don't know, 20 to 25 bolos that I just shared with you guys. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite. I mean, obviously, I have a feeling I know what you guys are all going to say because just wow. But there were some really good ones in there. So um, some of you may dabble in certain things and like certain things better than others. But uh, let me know your favorite bolo in this video. If you're not in my Facebook group, this is what it looks like. It's linked down below. Definitely go join and look for the Share Your Best December Bolo. And I will feature it in a video like this. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you found the channel and let me know if you're a new subscriber. Thanks for watching.